Hey everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and welcome back to another Toy Talk. I'm joined again with by Max. Hi guys, I uh, got some good news for you on this episode of Toy Talk. And we first want to say thank you so much for all the support of this series and the channel. Yep, we all really do appreciate it. You guys really seem to enjoy Toy Talk, and that means a lot to us. We put a lot of time and effort into getting these pictures for you guys, and um, so thank you to all my viewers, and if you happen to be a new viewer, um, we really appreciate the support each and every subscription gives us, so please remember to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, it helps us continue with the series, and that's why there's another one ready for today. Yeah. And I'm super excited about this one. And I have no idea why. <laughs> because, okay, for Toy Talk, um, Max is the one that goes out and gets the pictures of toys. And then everything after that I do. Um, but today, and Max has a surprise because I found some pictures of some really cool <laughs> toy news. And he has no idea what it is. So it's going to be a surprise for him. <laughs> yeah, she she's like, let's go, I'm ready. And she's like, well, wait, wait, wait. wait we're gonna, are we doing mailbag first? Huh? We're doing mail, some mailbag questions. And then uh, if you want your comment featured in a future episode, make sure to leave a thoughtful comment down below. Yeah, I'm swiping... So we can go over um, good, bad, and ugly. If you guys haven't watched a toy talk before, what this is while we're going through. And we encourage viewers to join in this little game. Uh, when we're going through pictures of toys and news, we pick out a good f for each episode, a bad, and one that we think is an ugly. So the surprise that I have no idea you think I'm going to think it's good, bad, or ugly? Um, uh, good. Okay. Good, I think. That's what I'm hoping. And now for some Toy Talk shoutouts. The first one um, goes out to Nicole M. Lopez. Hi, Blue Ducky and Max. I've been uh, um, months to see what this gorgeous doll would look like, and finally... Lady Gaga and Mattel did such an amazing job designing her. Can't wait till she hits stores. Happy hunting. So this is a comment from the first part of last week's Toy Talk where we went over Lady Gaga. Mm -hmm. And I want to include one good comment about it and one bad comment. And I'm going to have you read the bad comment since you weren't totally thrilled with her. Okay, Dominique Hilton. It's awesome. But I'm not impressed at all. Go look at MGA's prototypes for what they were looking with Gaga. Those are spectacular. Working with Gaga. With, we're working with Gaga. Those are spectacular. Which, I need to go look those up. Because I didn't know MGA was working with Gaga for anything. I think I have it and I forgot to include in this episode. So maybe next time. Okay. I did. I did find the pictures, I think. Oh, okay. And I forgot to include it. <laughs> but thanks, Dominique Hilton. If it was a for your comment, I wouldn't have remembered. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last shout well, the last written shout out that I included was to Sum Sum Mommy. Uh, and this was on the second toy talk from last week that is mostly about movies. And they said they are also doing Mulan in live action like a movie. And a special shout out to Sum Sum Mommy because she's a pretty frequent commenter. Appreciate all your comments. I think that'd be amazing. I hadn't heard about this, but I yeah. think out of all the Disney movies, Mulan lends itself to live action probably the best, maybe? And I think it's the most important because it have a real opportunity to do uh, new actors that have the, uh, the nationality, the origins, and not just go with popular actors. Yeah. I mean, they can be popular too, but I hope they do something special with the casting. Yeah. And I also want to give a Toy Talk shout out to everyone 
who sat through that 40 minute toy talk episode and watched it all. There was a lot of you. I was surprised how many people said they made it to the end. And that's really awesome. And we appreciate it. Yes. All right. So the first set of pictures are for Disney Moana toys. As the the movie's coming closer, there's more Do you know what this more... one is? Yeah, it's Disney Infinity. Yeah, it's the can- canceled figure. This is what we would have got. It looks really good. Oh, they're not making it anymore? Nope. Oh. This is this was what they were working on right when they got shut down. Oh. Well, here's a toy that'll never be. <laughs> oh. Well, that's ugly. It's a great... F- I'm so... I'm never getting over the Disney Infinity. I really liked it. I think, well, that's a whole episode of the reason we think it went down. But Yeah, let's not go into that. But the, the people working on the game, I think they did an amazing job. It was just the decisions that were made. Yeah. Okay, so we have some different Funko collectibles. Dorbs. Yeah, Dorbs uh, and Pops. You'll probably have to go through these quick because there's a lot. I know there's a lot. I put it together. <laughs> there's Moana and Pua. Maui. Voyager Moana, Walmart exclusive. Uh, Maui with his hook. That's another exclusive. Target exclusive Moana with the paddle. Hot Topic exclusive Young Moana. I like that she's posed different sitting. Yeah, that probably one would be like a better one to get because she won't tip over as easy. And then we have this two pack Moana. And then the pocket keychain pops. And also this other Dorbs. Another Dorbs. And a Hot Topic exclusive Dorbs. So good luck if you want to get every variant. <laughs> It'd be. Pretty, pretty impressive. That, that's the one I think's cool. Yeah, I like this, Dorbs. That's for cute. And then they have a rock candy Moana. And this is the first rock candy figure that I actually really like. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm usually not big on the rock candy style, but Moana looks really good. And then they are also coming out with mystery minis. Which, I like the mystery minis better than I like the bigger ones, Mm -hmm. because I think they're cuter in the face. And here's a picture of the different ones. Wait, how many is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. There's 12. Oh, thank goodness you can maybe get a whole set. Maybe. Unless there's three characters, one and six. Yeah, (laughs) maybe. And moving on, we have two DC Superhero Girl plushies pictured here. We have Supergirl and Wonder Woman. And then another picture of the Wonder Woman plush. And the next couple pictures are still of superheroes, but they're a little mixture of DC and Marvel. This is interesting. I never... I never uh, thought they would do this one. <laughs> it's cool, though. Well, they're doing it for everybody now. They had Disney villains. They had Disney princesses. They had uh, Harry Potter ones. They, yeah. So The now only pet, pet I'm really like excited for is the Joker fish <laughs> <laughs> and Aquaman's uh, little uh, seahorse. I'm confused to... What Harley Quinn's pet is? Is it the brown dog? I guess so. <laughs> and, and the the, the hmm. Superman's dog with the capes cute too. <laughs> yeah, I like um, Wonder Woman's horse and Aquaman's seahorse. Those are my favorites. And then we have some Batman animated series pops. We have Batgirl. The Joker. The Batman pops will never stop. But this is a good one. I'm excited for this one, actually. Harlequin. I really like this Harlequin. I know there's like a lot of versions of her, but I like this one. 
I hope I'm not mistaken by saying this, but I think Carla Quinn was introduced on the animated series. You are not mistaken. Okay, so this is a cool one. This is the original Harley Quinn. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have some rock candy Captain Marvel. We have uh, Spider Gwen. Man, we really need to go get some Spider Gwen history and like, read the comic how she, she became. Hulk? Because she is super popular, and I heard her origins are really cool. Yeah. Without spoiling it, they didn't they didn't say why, but they said. And we have she she Thor. It just says Thor though, it's, but it. It's I Lady like that Thor, one. Lady Thor. Lady Thor. This is the sh Spider Gwen that I like better, mm -hmm. with the hood and the mask. And then a glow in the dark Walmart She Hulk. And then the animated Batman. And now to some Pirates of the Caribbean dorbs. We have Jack Sparrow. Davy Jones. I, I have to leave Funko stuff out because they come up with so many designs. Yeah, they're constantly it's chugging like out everything. We, we would have a... Uh, Two hour episodes if I included everything. Yeah. There's Barbosa and then the Chase figure of Zombie Barbosa. That's pretty cool. And then the Elizabeth Swan. And then some Disney pop figures. There's Flounder and Sebastian. Which is pretty cool. I can't believe they haven't been out already. I thought they were. <laughs> Who knows? Now these I, I don't think were. It's I'm very surprised. I know that Funko does everything. But Bugs Life is like a underrated Pixar. It's one of the least mentioned. I think Funko is getting to the point where they've done so many popular things. That they have to do everything if they want to have any new products. They have to get into new... Or a new Vat Batman. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, Bugs Life characters are cute, though. Heimlich <laughs> is adorable. And then we have a Q-Bert. I never played the game Q-Bert. Um, could they possibly, potentially do him in every color of the rainbow? Was there more than one color Q-Bert? I think mainly he's just this color. Oh, okay. And we have Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. And there's Bill. And then there's Ted. <laughs> I have to watch this movie again. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a long time. And then we have a couple new Mega Pop plushes. There's Jack Skellington. There's Santa Jack. And also a Sally. I really like them, but they're like $40. I think they're a little overpriced. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. I like the fabrications. I would say if you're going to get one of these, you probably would get like your most favorite character ever. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like, I prefer the fabrications though, I think. And we're going into uh, some Shopkins news. We have... Eclairs is getting some exclusive Shopkins. Glitter Shopkins. They're pretty cute. Oh, wait. Oops. Went too far. Um, here is the package. And there's also a limited edition penny purse. So, another limited edition to look out for. But I think these will do pretty well because Shopkins are popular and Claire's. And they're glittery and fun. Oh. These next couple pictures are of the cards for the Shock and Shoppies Chef Club, Bubblicia, Donatina, and Jesse Cake. They look cute. The art for them is adorable. Yeah, we we covered them last episode, but the art is just so so great. Mhm. Mm I really like Donatina's short hair like that. Maybe it's because I just cut my hair shorter. <laughs> She's cute. I, re I really like the uh, designers at Moose Toys. They do a good job. 
Yeah. Um, next couple pictures are of plushies, starting with this kind of blurry Doc McStuffins. I think this is Build-A-Bear. Yes. Sh yes. <laughs> and then there is a new Care Bear at Build-A-Bear, and it's Sheer Bear, the purple one. I'm excited. I don't think I can collect, like, all the Care Bears, because... It seems like they're doing good, so I think they're going to have a lot out. But, um, so maybe I'm going to slow down a little bit, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Max I like I like the Care Bears. These are the best quality Care Bears ever. I think they're worth collecting every single one. Okay, so I guess I'm getting every single one. And I really want them to get to the point where they can do Care Bear Cousins. Because I love Care Bear Cousins. Yeah, they're really cute. But these are not build the bear No, no, these are just some mini bean bags you could get at Walmart.com. That's where yeah. I found them. They're like $28 for all four. Um, and then there's some medium ones. Which, these three look adorable. I want that elephant and the penguin. Okay. They're so cute. Care Bear cousins. Wouldn't you love to see uh, a build a bear version of these? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I would. They need more love, the Care Bear Cousins. They get it, but they they need to be uh, more more merchandise with them. Yeah, they're super adorable. And then some squishable pictures, because we love the squishables. What do you think of that pir piranha? I like the piranha. I think it's cute. It's like the cutest piranha I've ever seen. What about that little tuxedo vampire thing? <laughs> uh, I like the prana better, I think. That's my thing. And this picture is just amazing. I need all Squishables food. That's the well, big thing. The I problem like. is they're coming out with a lot of them now. That's because they're popular because they're yeah, so they're, cute. Yeah. I think the, the food is really taken off. Yeah. I really want the orange skull. The only thing I'm... Squishables is a great company, great idea, and you can make your own designs and submit them. The only thing is, I, I hope they do a little bit different face designs. Because if they do this on every one, it's going to get a little stale. Like the same, the same smiley face. Well, um, I think some of my food already has different faces. Yeah. Like some have squinty eyes and different yeah, faces. Yeah, I like to see more expressions. Yeah. These ones do. Yeah. Um, we got that peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Is Which adorable. is your favorite? Out of these three? And this is your good, is the food squishables? Huh? The food squishables? Oh, yeah. They're my good. Mm-hmm. That's my good. Um, my favorite out of these three? Mm -hmm. I don't... Oh. My favorite is the pumpkin pie and the hot dog. <laughs> um... I really like the pumpkin pie, but I really like that peanut butter and jelly sandwich, too. I don't know why. It's just so cute. And also, at this point, I'm still super curious. I have no idea what she's uh, planning. Well, we have to get to it. So I know. That's why you I'm kind of you really, things along you here. really put your... <laughs> anyway, okay. next up oh, is... Oh, this is good news. Build the Bear. Minty. They're, they're having a new pony. It's not one of, like, the main ponies. Well, who knew? I thought they were completely done. Especially since they're harder to find some of the older ones on the website or in the stores. Well, Minty, is that's a cute one. I'm looking forward to that coming out. And I think you have to explain this picture because I was looking at okay. it and I didn't even uh, know. These are some pictures of, like, there's a Chinese eBay site called Taobao or something. And a lot of times when to a lot of to toys are made in China. Yeah. So the workers, I think, put some of the, like, defect or some of the toys up for sale. And okay. you could kind of get a glimpse into the future of some releases. Uh, uh -huh. And these are a little bit redesigned brushables. And the My Little Pony, the theory is the My Little Pony movie that's coming out 
the these may be the designs for the animated movie. I like it. It's a little different. Yeah. So, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Tell us what you think. I may be completely wrong. I understand that. Uh, but that would explain why there's a new design for them. Yeah. And then this is the Guardians of Harmony comic. Which I would say is a good. Yes. But... Yes, I need to Oh, find... and Minty's good, too. Yeah. Because Build-A-Bear Build Ponies ba coming back is great. Uh, what do you say? Is this a good, bad, or ugly? Um... I don't think they're bad or ugly. They're just different. Uh, well, I don't know. What do you viewers think? Are you on board with the new design, or... Yeah. This is what I'm real excited for. Yeah, the Power Ponies? Yeah. Mystery Minis? Yes. We are keeping an eye on our local Hot Topics to see when they get them in. And if you remember, long back, long way back, we wanted them to make a Power Ponies Mystery Minis. I think one of us mentioned it. Yeah. So it, it's actually happening. And we're sh shocked because they thought they were done with the Mystery Minis and the... Well, we know they're done with the big Funkos. Yeah, well... For a while, I guess. Anyway, I'm still moving this along faster. Oh, because... Trolls Build a Bear. Yeah, Trolls, the movie Build a Bears. They look a lot better with their outfits. <laughs> <laughs> Here's them without their outfits. And with their outfits. It's cute. It's cute. I'm looking forward to the movie. Are you? I think it'll be fun. Probably. This one, I think, in the, isn't he like really super glittery in the trailer? I think so. They should have probably done something better with the fabric. Yeah. Hey. Official Mattel uh, Lady Gaga pictures. Zombie Gaga pictures. Oh, Zombie Gaga, yeah. Yeah. I still really like her. What's with the bubble? I don't get that. It's the video. You didn't watch the video yet. No, I skipped the video. I'll have to catch it, so I have no idea why there's a bubble. <laughs> it's, it's bubble gum. Okay. She's blowing a bubble. Okay. Which, um, I think the box is amazing. The box, uh, looks awesome to me. And then you get the back. And some pictures of Lady Gaga and her sister. Mm -hmm. They look alike. They're sisters. Fierce pose. And that is like the monster claw. Okay, I don't know much about Lady Gaga. I think she's cool. Yeah. And here's a picture of the... Are these other dolls coming out? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know why they did this other... I think it'd be cool if they did. They're, okay, so like this is her outfit um, reminiscent of Poker Face. Mm -hmm. Her outfit in Poker Face. Which I think Draculaura has the closest with the hair and everything. I kind of wish, like, if it's coming out, if these other dolls are coming out, I do wish that... Like, they had one, like, Dracula there could have been her kind of, like, outfit from, like, Poker Face or another video. And then each of them have, like, a different outfit for a Lady Gaga video, like, a different look of hers. Mm -hmm. I think that would have been really cool. Um, instead of, like, all having the same kind of look. The bodysuit with the leggings and everything. Yeah. It's a cool photo. Here's another photo of the... First day of school goals. Yeah, which are, is Max's favorite line so far. And then we have some of the ghouls, ghouls beast pet. Um, I think I... I think these should be at Target soon, I think. I so really like them. Frankie's little bear. I think that's really cute. It reminds me of the Build-A-Bear, the zombie bear from Build-A-Bear. 
That bear is adorable. So cute. And then um, they're going to have Itty Bitties uh, Limited Edition Monster High. That's cool. Yeah, that's really cute. I think I think my photos are coming up soon, so I'm really excited. Okay, so I think it's dolls. <laughs> Am I right? Is it dolls? It has to do with Monster High. Oh, sure. okay. Yeah. And here is the min minis in their little thing. And then we have uh, the box art for the Beast Pets. She's going fast. <laughs> Another picture <laughs> of the Beast Pet. She has like a poodle with bat wings. It's really cute. And then my pictures! Funko is doing Monster High! Oh, wow. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. Like, how many times have you said, I wish Funko has done Monster High? I wish he, Funko would do this Monster High. This would make sense. Yes. Because I was looking for stuff to talk about, and they had... I, I don't know. Maybe I'm th alluding to something here, but the vinyls they had on Amazon, some were discontinued. Uh -huh. So maybe they're just going to continue with the pops for yeah. the big ones. So we have Frankie and Draculaura. Which, I she kind of looks a little weird to me. <laughs> <laughs> this means there's going to be mystery minis. Is there going to be mystery... Did you find mystery minis too? No. Oh. Well, I it's going to happen. Pops. It's going to happen. So, like... I found it, and I was excited. Yes. Because you didn't even know about it. No, I didn't know. It was a surprise. Do they... Well, oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Cleo. And Ooh. I want Skeleta. She's a Walmart exclusive. But she looks cool. What do you guys think? Are these... Do you, do you prefer the vinyls or these? Laguna. I can't wait for them to, like come out with mystery minis because if they do it in that cuter style i think those will be really really cute but um they all have the same facial shape as you can see that kind of square shape from the pops but they're also doing rock candy monster high oh wow funkos that's really cool this is definitely good definitely good yes and i found it and yes. i was so excited and frankie uh, I think there's only Frankie, Dracula, and Claudine of the Rock Candy pictures. And to be announced soon, Mystery Minis. Hopefully. Hopefully. Although the, okay, the, I have some information about these two. Uh, um, okay, okay. They're coming out in December. Oh, alright. So that's estimated that the website said December. Coming in December, so. Yay! And then there is the Skylanders TV show. This should be on Netflix starting October 28th, which I'm happy it's on Netflix. That means I can watch it right away. And then hopefully they have a bunch of episodes at once. <laughs> yeah. And then I have not seen the trailer yet. I have to watch the trailer, but Power Rangers live action movie. Some pictures Re reboot. from Reboot. Yeah. They're getting a little more serious. They look a little more serious in this picture. I'm excited for it. Mm -hmm. I actually did watch the trailer, and it was surprisingly well done. You watched the trailer without me? Yes, I did. Oh my goodness. And then, okay, so that's like a picture of them on their things. I'm, I, I they're have, Zords. They're Zords? <laughs> I have... They look... I never watched Power huge. Rangers much. What? No. I didn't know this. No. This is something like, we never I, I talked s about I before. I saw a couple episodes when I was a kid, but I never really this is watched some it. This is something we never talked about. <laughs> I'm, like, not a huge fan, but you never barely watched it. Wow. Yeah. But they have the black Power Ranger. That's cool. He's black. I know he's, like, the the rebel, isn't he? Isn't that the black Power Rangers? Like, the outsider or something? Oh, boy. What? Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and is this related to Power Rangers? No! I didn't know when looking through the pictures. It looks like is, a Power Ranger. This is the first image of Amber Heard as Mara, Aquaman's wife. Oh. 
I didn't know Aquaman had a wife. I don't. Well, maybe not wife, but girlfriend. I, I think they're married. Oh, she looks cool. She also kind of looks like she could be in the Power Rangers movie. <laughs> well, yeah. So, um, I'm assuming she's not, like, coming out of the water in this picture because her hair is dry. If she comes out of that water with her hair dry, that's going to be really cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, breaking news, guys. There's this new thing called Hatchimals that you should be looking up for. <laughs> You probably guys all know about the Hatchables now. Yeah. I think this is the Target exclusive, I think. Oh, no. There's a Target. I I don't know too much about them, honestly. We don't have any Hatchables yet. I know there's a lot of people that have a lot of Hatchables. Um, I think they're cute. I think they're cute. I th and I'm going to be keeping an eye out for one, maybe. I think... I don't want to get any neg like negative towards me, but I think it's just bad. I don't think it's great. I think it's a great idea. I think they could have done more with it. Um, I think the idea of a pet hatching is amazing. I wanted like more variation in the creatures. I wanted the creatures to do more. I saw like one video of it. I think they the, the opportunity's there for something amazing. I would have liked dragons. Yes. They can... They can okay, this is like the first Hatchimals yeah. out. They can do a lot more in the future. But they're, they're like combination animals. They could do like a phoenix. They could do right. dragons. Right. I want more variations, but everything I looked while researching it, they just look like different colors. And I mean, I have to do more research on these, but they just look similar to me. And the, the opportunity there is amazing for some amazing hatched creatures. Yeah. Well, I still want one. I hope if they do, like, they're probably going to do another series. I hope they do something, like, more uh, interesting. Okay, well, I didn't have an ugly or a bad this episode. So, anyway. Um, this video is getting a little long. Because we did cover a lot of pictures, so we should wrap it up. Yeah, Monster High Funko Pops. Wow, yeah, it's I happening. It's happening. Yep, yep. And Max was always on that, so I was pretty excited to find that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We do appreciate it. Um, we can't wait to read your comments down below. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, a like. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. Uh, it's always fun to set a goal. Do you want to set a goal, Max? Uh. You want to set a max goal? A thousand likes. That's pretty high. <laughs> well, no, two, anyway. 200 likes. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.